Grant Fritchie, Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. I want to talk to you today about backups. More specifically, I'd like to talk to you about data backups. Yet more specifically, I'd like to talk to you about SQL Server backups. Actually, I want to get even more specific and I want to talk to you about SQL Azure backups. As you know, up until recently, SQL Azure did not have a backup facility. Microsoft has recently released this import-export utility um, that goes out to a file format called the, the uh, Backpack. <laughs> anyway, the Backpack is a, an export of your data from your SQL Azure database. So it is a mechanism to create a local copy of your um, online database. Now, Microsoft is great. They are a good company. They've built some amazing stuff, and the technology behind SQL Azure is, frankly, amazing. And I don't know all the details. I really don't. But I've read up what's available and what's published online, and some of the stuff that they're doing is they're keeping multiple copies of your data all the time. Um, I'm sure it's some sort of online mirroring that they're doing. I don't know the details because they have not published them. Um, Anyway, they keep three copies of it going all the time, and if there was some sort of a disaster on their site, they've got two extra copies that are, that are there and available. Um, if one of those was to go down, you still got another copy. So your data is very, very, very well protected. But, you know, there's a question you must ask yourself about Microsoft and or any company, and it's do you trust them implicitly? Okay, I won't laugh because that would be nice. No, of course not. You shouldn't trust any company implicitly. So, you need to run backups. So you need to protect your software. You need to create some mechanism that allows you to get a local copy of that data, of that database, and have it available in the event of some type of emergency that is unforeseen, that you've got to recover from. You need that protection that a backup offers you. That is what SQL Azure backup from Redgate Software gives you. It gives you two ways, two ways to back up your software. One, we actually use the backpack. We will work with the import-export utilities. We will create a backup, a backup file, a backpack file for you out of our GUI. Or we've got another mechanism that takes advantage of the tools that we've built, SQL Compare, SQL Data Compare, and we allow it to create a copy of your SQL Azure database locally on a server so you can actually make copies and stuff down there. Either way, I'd like to show you the tool, so let's go take a look at it. Right, so as you can see, I've supplied a user, a server, a username, a password, and I'm now going to select a database. So I want to do movie management. Now there's various ways we can do this. We can make backups and we can make them transactionally consistent. And if you notice, there's a tooltip that will walk you through everything. Temporary, oh, say, let's go back to there. Temporary contact uh, copy of the database is created and backed up. This ensures transactional consistency, and you have to read quickly after the backup. This copy is deleted. Um, and remember things for next time. It's all nice stuff. We're going to turn off both these. Now, first option is we can back up down to a local server. Second option is we can do a SQL Azure backup to a blob storage facility. I'm going to start off with this local server. I'm very familiar with it. I'm going to provide my server name, just my local instance, and I'm going to use Windows Authentication. I'll remember that for next time. And the name of the database to be created in this case will be movie management underscore back. Now the reason it went red is because I actually, if you notice over here, I already have a database called movie management. So next, start backup. And that's all there is to it. The backup is starting, the backup will run. It takes a little while, but you'll see it complete. It's reading everything, it's generating a script, it's moving the data over, and now it's completed. That's all you need to do. I've now got a backup of my database. Let's go over here to the um, uh, my local server, hit refresh, and there it is, moviemanagement.back. And it's a copy of what's out on production, including the data. So it's not technically a backup um, per se, um, because it's not um, your SQL Azure backup. What it is is a copy to a local server. But now I can run all kinds of backups against it, whatever I need to do. So I've got a copy of my database taken from Azure down to my local system, um, one click of the button, very quick, and uh, that's all I need.
Okay, so what if I wanted to switch? What if instead I wanted to use Azure Storage? I wanted to go to the Blob Storage. What I can do is go over to here, pick a primary access signature, and I've already filled this out once before, so I had it all set up. But it's got the name, it's got my scary DBA backup, it's got an access key that you are not allowed to see all of, and it's got my container, and it's got my file name, Movie Management. And it will remember this information for next time. Or not. It's, it depends on how I would like to set it up. So anyway, here's my server. It's all ready to go. I click on Next, and I'm ready to start my backup. And now, notice, if you saw it, it said real quick in there, it was running, and it was creating a, an export to the backup. Notice it is an export, and it was fairly fast, and that's because it did it all out on, C out on uh, SQL Azure and not down to my local database. So that SQL Azure backup has now created a blob storage out on SQL Azure, and uh, that's where that's stored now, so I've got that backpack out there and available, and that's pretty much it. So you've seen SQL Azure Backup is a very, very simple tool. You can do database backups by copying everything down to your local system, or you can do database backups by using the import-export out to a backpack, and it works with either uh, method, and also has some extra little bells and whistles in there that make it pretty nice, pretty nice little um, backup tool. All right, thanks for watching. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software.